I'm here with Coach Chapman and Kalu Anya. Kalu, 15 points, seven rebounds, five steals. What led to this type of performance tonight? Uh, I think it was my coach, because before I wasn't as aggressive, but now I'm aggressive because he's pushing me to be as confident I am now. So I thank him for that. So with this win tonight, you guys are officially in the tournament for the playoffs. How does that feel? It feels amazing, because it's kind of like, as a little kid, I always wanted to play basketball, and I grew up and now I'm playing basketball. And now I'm, I'm with the elite team, a sponsor team, and now we're going to go places. And I'm glad that we're able to make playoffs, because tomorrow we'll have my coach and two teammates, but we're still going to win the league. So you're feeling pretty confident about this tournament, huh? Yeah. Well, Kalu, congratulations on tonight's performance, man, and good luck in the tournament. You'll do great. Thank you. Coach, 15, five steals, seven boards, 15 points. How's he doing it? I want him to do more. I want him to do more. I, um, I told him when he first came to us a couple months ago, he has... A, proto, a basketball body, right? You look at him, you know, he's eighth grader, long arms, big feet, gonna be about 6'8 when it's all said and done. You see, he showed every aspect of his game tonight. He showed you a perimeter jump shot. He showed you he could face up. And the beauty of his game is he can do more when he wants to be aggressive. The next level for him now is to be alert every play defensively and to treat every possession like it's meaningful. Because sometimes, you know, at their age, you, you, you slack off a couple possessions, and he's learning how to be better with that now. So, I heard you talking a lot in the huddle after the game about getting back on defense. Why is that so important for you guys heading into this tournament? Because we don't like to give up any easy baskets. Um, we like to get easy baskets because we like the pace to be up and down, but we don't like to give up easy baskets. So the best way to not give up easy baskets is to, when you press, just because the ball might be ahead of you, you sprint back and get ahead of the basketball to make sure you're not giving up easies. And after a while, you just see a team wear down. And that's what eventually happens tonight. And it looked like you really had them wearing down in the second half. You guys were really able to pile on that lead. You almost got to 30. What adjustments did you make in the second half that allowed you guys to kind of run away with the game? I told them if they didn't play hard enough, I would have subbed in people in the stands. Um, and, and, and they know my expectation in all seriousness. They, this team is special. I told you it's a group of eighth graders, right? But most majority of these kids are 14 years old. We have two seventh graders on the team, like I told you before. So playing the right way is something we stress. And at halftime, you know, like I mentioned to you, the, the game was too slow. We scored 22 points the first half, 37, 38, whatever it was in the second half, right? We gave up nine points in the first half, but gave up you know, was it 23 points in a second, 22 points in a second? But the game was at our pace. So I don't mind giving up some points when the game's at our pace because eventually, like you said, they wore down, and they did. They had a bench of two guys on their bench with five starters that played the majority of the game. Coach, good luck in the postseason. Yes. I think you guys are going to do great. I hope so. I'll be watching. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys you. Are great. All right. Thank you. And with that being said, the playoffs start tomorrow. Should be really fun, Pat. I'll send that over back to you.